The Teljor Intervention Fleet is a specialized naval division of the Dar-Lari people, a technologically advanced spacefaring civilization who have long since colonized the majority of their home universe. Once a fragmented society, they united after a long and bloody civil war under the moniker of the Teljor Union. Their early expeditions through the dimensional rifts revealed that the Teljor were extremely small compared to most other lifeforms in the multiverse. This left them scrambling for options to defend themselves against these comparatively colossal threats that were now making increasingly frequent incursions back into the Teljor's own universe. The solution was found when during an atmospheric repair stop, the Teljor destroyer, thus unto others, decided to engage in combat with the denizen of this new universe, and won single-handedly. This dawned the realization that the Teljor's only effective strategy lay not in infantry, rather in the power of their space vessels. On the tabletop, the Teljor lean towards being an elite faction, but do still have low points cost options. With their high health and solid to decent damage output, they can hold their own in a firefight, but suffer in melee, where they have very, very limited options, save for a few specialized units. They also move quite slowly, a problem that compounds their glaring lack of armor, as even their most sturdy units only carry values of up to one, exclusively within the energy defense type. All Teljor units have the flying and machine abilities, as well as a knack rule based explode-on death, known as reactor failure. This army also boasts quite a few interesting and thematic synergy units, such as a tug group that helps your ships move faster, and a science vessel that can attach experimental modules onto other ships in order to buff them. The Teljor are one of the most interesting ideas I've yet seen represented within IWC. I do especially enjoy the way that the different ship types are working to the unit design, with all of the units feeling as though they belong naturally in a miniature Starfleet. Nothing feels as though it was put in just to fill a role. All of this seems very organic and true. They can also help you scratch that Battlefleet gothic itch if you happen to suffer from that. Credit for this faction goes to Very Common Name, and I recommend checking out their other factions as well, the Joint Ethereum Core and the Anya Commonwealth. For extra gaming power, Blast Dreadnought by Sabaton. 